Uh, we are up with yet another edition of uh, my cooking series and today what I'm going to present to you is an upma that's made with idli and bread. The ingredients required obviously is bread, idli, but the other ingredients would be what we would normally use for tadka that is uh, rai, jeera, chana dal, udad dal, onion, cut green chili, curry leaves, dhania and turmeric powder, salt and specially I have a kind of chili powder which is normally used with idli, it's called idli pudi. If you don't have this there is no problem, you can use the regular chili powder. So what I do is first I take about six slices of bread. Uh, what I've done is I've cut the bread into pieces. I would ideally suggest sprinkle a little bit of water into the bread and then cut them into pieces. You, and the bread pieces must be slightly larger than the pieces of idli that I have cut into small pieces. You'll find the idli pieces smaller. I've taken four idlis, small size, and six slices of bread. Like most other dishes, it starts with a tarka. It should be about one and a half tablespoons of, or even two tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is heated, add chana dal, a fair amount of chana dal, say about more than one, one and a half teaspoons. A teaspoon of udad dal. A heaped teaspoon of jeera. A spoon of mustard. Some curry leaves. About three to four, uh, uh, two pieces, uh, two long chilies cut into long slitted slices. And now add onions. I've just taken one onion, a large onion. Ensure that the onions get to a golden brown. Add some turmeric powder. A part of it is turned golden brown. At this stage, take the pieces of idli. I said four idli, small ones that I have taken. Add it to the mixture. Toss it or sort it. One other way of doing it is to completely powder the idli into very, very small uh, granules, but uh, then you will not have the taste of the idli coming in while you're eating it. Now, add bread to it. At this stage, you would realize that the oil that was there has been largely consumed by the onion and the idli pieces. So at this stage, 
add a little more oil to the bread. Some salt, I'm using very little salt because the idli already has salt in it. And I'm using a chili powder which also contains salt in it. So I'm using about half a teaspoon of salt. And now adding the mirchi powder which I said is called specific powder made for having with idlis. You can either use this or you can use the regular chili powder which you have at home. I'm using three spoons of this. Close the mixture now for about two to three minutes. Open the lid. It's after two to three minutes you will find that they all got together. They are no longer independent pieces. As I suggested earlier, you can, if you want, make even smaller pieces of this. And uh, for those of you who eat egg, you could also add the white of boiled egg into this mixture as a part of the upma and it will taste just as good. Now this is over, we will have it presented in a short while. The dish is now ready, just dress it with uh, some finely chopped coriander. Acknowledge everybody else who's been giving me tips from time to time. Uh, time before I sign off to acknowledge uh, Narendra and uh, Datu's contribution and everybody else including Abhinav who's been editing this on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.